Everybody, it's 444RR with the next video on 365 Day Magic Challenge. I'm going to stand up here for just a moment because we're going to do our uh, TJ trick today plus a little contest. We'll start with the contest first. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've actually changed up the Magic Shop set, my little Vanna White model there. Um, I've actually reorganized everything. Everything's kind of been moved around on here, but I've actually added a couple new things. I've taken nothing away, but I've added a couple new things. Here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to either come back to this point in the video or pause the video right now and count up how many new things you see on the Magic Shop set. So count it up, count up how many new things that you see, and uh, the person who comes closest to the right answer without going over will get a shout out in this coming Monday's 365 Day Magic Challenge video. I'll also show you what else, what I've added on Monday, and I'll also tell you the correct answer as well. So if you go over the right number, you don't win. Uh, so you got to be as close to the right number without going over. And, any, and starting today is anything new. So anything new starts from today. So you can go back to yesterday's video if you want. Watch that and see what's new. You can count up what you see that's new. Again, there's only one right answer. And only one answer, only one guess per YouTube channel. So I'll stand right over here, out of the way, so you guys can pause the video if you want and uh, count up how many new items you see. Okay, so now it's the teacher trick time. Pause the video. This time you really need to legitimately pause the video and go grab a pen and a coin, and I'm going to teach you how to do the amazing vanishing coin. All right, hopefully you paused the video, got your supplies. You just need one coin, any denomination, and one pen, any color, any size. Here's what you're going to do. First, you want to start by putting the coin in your hand and closing up your hand. Now, let me show you this trick. I'm going to make the coin vanish. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, wait a minute. I made the pen vanish. Sometimes you can hear where the pen goes. Let's try this again. One, two, three. Oh, wait a minute. I made the coin vanish. That's kind of cool. And that's the amazing vanishing coin. Simple trick, and it's actually really easy because it involves no sleight of hand. So here's how the trick works. Get yourself a pen and get yourself a coin. Here's how this trick works. Super simple, but it fools people. You start by putting the coin in your hand, close up the hand, and you're going to tap once and tap twice. You're going to bring the pen back to your ear both times that you tap. So you're going to go once, and you're going to go twice. On the second time, you leave it there. Leave it right there and let it rest. And you, But you bring your hand down the same way as you do the first two times. So you go once, twice, three, and you just hit your hand, and you just made the pen vanish. And then your audience might applaud at this point, or they might be like, ooh, wow, cool. And like, wait a minute, no, 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 wait, that's not what's supposed to happen. I was supposed to make the coin vanish. Open up your hand, show the coin is still there, and you're like, but actually, you can actually hear where the coin, or where the pen went. And that's a little misdirection. Misdirection in magic is where the magic is happening uh, somewhere over there, but your audience is looking uh, somewhere over there. And they're looking in the completely wrong place as the magic is happening. Ah, just dropped my pen. So you say, sometimes you hear where the pen goes. As you say that line, all you do is you take the coin, drop it in your pocket. Now, here's a little tip at this point. Don't fumble around trying to put the coin in your pocket. Don't be like, sometimes you can hear where the pen goes. Uh, you can sometimes hear where it goes. You want to get that coin in there fast. But don't look like you're suspicious when you put it in there. Don't go like, sometimes you can hear where it went. That was a little too suspicious. So, you know, naturally drop it in there, but don't fiddle around with it. And don't be really fast either. Another thing when you do this is, let me get that back up to that position. When you drop the coin, uh, you can actually put just your finger over your pants pocket. Your thumb goes in your pants pocket, and you can just go like this. Whoop. Whoops, well, that dropped right out of my, that dropped right on the ground. Let me try that again. You just drop it right in there like this. Whoop. It's actually easier if you're using jeans because your hands kind of make a little cup around the top of your uh, pants pocket. But you kind of just drop it in there. Whoop. Like that, and it's all ready to go. It's in the it's in the pocket. Another thing too is when you bring that hand back up, that's supposed to have the coin in it. Don't have it open when you bring it back out, because they'll see no coin. So drop it in and bring it back out like this. When you bring it back out, don't overly grip your hand like this either. Don't make your knuckles turn white. Look natural, like you saw something in there. 
So you say, I know I can hear where the pen goes, bring the pen back down, do the exact same moves again. Don't go like this, bring the pen all the way back again two times. On the third time, you open up your hand, you smack, and the uh, coin vanishes. So that's a really cool thing. Then you can say, well, I really didn't make the coin vanish. That's really cool. Put both hands in your pockets if you want, ditch the pen, and you can grab that coin out of your pocket, and you can keep it. If you're a more advanced magician, you can keep it in your hand, and you can say, well, let's get that coin to come back. And all you do is you have it curled around in your fingers like this, have it curled around. This is what we call finger palming, uh, where, where, where you hide an item. You finger palm it, take your thumb, push it up so that your thumb and first finger grab that coin, and you can go like this and say, well, make the coin come back. Or you could do the old standard gag, what's that in your ear? Oh, look, it's the quarter. Or you could, you know, or you could sneeze it out. You could have it in finger palm, and you go, choo, and you can sneeze it out like that. Or you can cough it out and go, oh, excuse me, pardon me. Uh, whatever you want to do. Uh, also, here's some little subtleties you can use in the trick. You can say, oh, well, to get the coin to disappear, we have to change the uh, manual dexterity of the pen by making it rubber. Again, another old school gag where all you do is you take your thumb on the bottom, first thing on the top of the pen, and you just do this kind of motion with your fingers. And that just wiggles it. Everyone's done the, uh, the uh, rubber pencil or pen before. And another cool thing that most magicians don't know how to do, but it's been around for a while, is the shrinking pen. Where you go like this, and the pen looks like it visually shrinks. I think it's better without a cap on it. And it visually shrinks like this. Well, this pen is not uh, really working for me today, but it shrinks and then you can get it to grow. To do that, all you have to do is place your fingers, tip, your fingertips on the end of the pen like this. This finger, go, the, this hand goes out, comes back, as this one goes out as soon as it comes back. So essentially you're doing this. And you're doing it fast, and then when you do it fast, it looks like that pen is shrinking and then expanding. So that's a really cool little gag. Uh, that's a few little things you can do to uh, help the trick along and to kind of visual a little sleight of hand moves. Again, this is kind of a more advanced kind of sleight of hand. I mean, you know, it might take a little bit of practice, but the, uh, the essential bare bones of the trick, to vanish the pen and then vanish the coin, takes no sleight of hand. So hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to do the contest. Remember, count up how many uh, new items I've added to the uh, cabinets behind, uh, right back here. And uh, the person who comes closest without going over gets a shout out in Monday's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next 365-day Magic Challenge video.